However, there was still one last thing I had to do. Okay. Oh! We're in the PIC meeting room. Hey! Oh, wow. Mr. Edgeworth, sorry to keep you waiting. Why'd you call Uncle Ray and the rest of us out here? Mr. Edgeworth? The formal proceedings have just come to a close. Hmm? What are you talking about? This is the place where I once relinquished my prosecutor's badge. This is your prosecutor's badge. Prosecutor Edgeworth, what is the meaning of this? Consider this my re resignation. Ow. I am no longer a prosecutor. In order to save me... Oh, pardon me. When I was suffering from memory loss, you... A certain man once said, The only ally a defendant has is their attorney. By trusting in their client, an attorney draws closer to the truth. The sight of that man still shines brilliantly in my eyes. Is he gonna show him? Yeah! Just as the image of my father fighting in court does. I think it was Phoenix who was on about. Gregory. However, this is nothing more than that man and my father's way of life. Yeah, there we go. That man. I love how he never names it. It, it is not mine. Mr. Edgeworth. I think I shall live as a prosecutor after all. I see. So, you've made your decision. I'm sorry. No, no, I understand. That's your answer, isn't it? It is. Okay, then that's the end of this conversation. Don't regret it, even if you make me later. I won't let you work for me ever again. I understand. Well, you know, Miles... Mind if I ask you why you chose to live as a prosecutor? Mr. Shields, you asked me this before. To fight crime as a prosecutor or to save people as a defense attorney. I want you to think carefully about how you want to live your life from now on. I've thought long and hard about that question ever since. How should I live my life? And after this case concluded, I finally found my answer. I want to save people as a prosecutor. As a prosecutor? Simon Keyes. He too was a victim. He did still do some very fucked up things, but... He lost a parent in the past murder, and with it the ability to believe in anything else. I too know that feeling. The feeling of losing what's important to you, and being unable to believe in anything. I doubted everything during my lonely battles in those days. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. The one who saved me was... Is he gonna show him? <gasps> you... Bastards. Mr. Keyes must have been all alone. Unable to find salvation from the law. He had no choice but to turn his hand to revenge. And I suppose you never thought to seek help from the police. No way, no way. As long as Blaze was around, any evidence would be destroyed by him. Actually, didn't something like that almost happen today during Patricia's trial? I want to save those like Simon Keys. So, how would you save him? I'm sure this tragedy could have been avoided if only he could have relied on the courts. But instead, he was cornered by Blaze the Best, who used the power of law for evil. The form of the law can change depending on who wields it. It can be at once a shield to protect and a blade to harm. That too is a contradiction of the law. A contradiction, huh? That's true. It sure is a contradiction in the law. The way the law is right now, it isn't always completely right. The only way to right those contradictions is by joining in the court system. The one who could have saved Simon Keyes was not an attorney, but rather a watchman of the law, a prosecutor. I shall face the contradictions in the law as a prosecutor. 
I see. That's just like you. But you know, it'll be tough. It won't be just a walk in the park. You'll be going up against the law itself. You do realize that, right? I do. However, someone must. Yep, yep. Uncle Ray believes in you too. The law evolves and grows, just like all of us do. I'm sure you can pull it off. After all, you're Gregory's son. Yay! The old man would never give up, no matter what. His eyes saw only what laid ahead, or laid straight ahead. Miles. When you chose to live as a prosecutor, your eyes looked just like your father's. Looks like you've grown up a bit. I really wish your old man could see you now. Thank you very much, Mr. Shields. So then, Prosecutor Edgeworth, allow me to formally return this to you. Please do. Hey, it be me badge. I, Justine Court Courtney, as a member of the PIC, do hereby return to Miles Edgeworth the rights and privileges of a prosecutor in the name of the Goddess of Law. Yeah! Prosecutor's badge. Data jotted down in my organizer. And with that, Prosecutor Edgeworth, Edgeworth is revived. That's great, sir. So then, Prosecutor Edgeworth. It's time for Uncle Ray to make his exit. After a report to your old man. All about the traitor in the Edgeworth family. <laughs> Thank you for everything, truly. The next time we meet just might be in the courtroom. I hope you'll be ready. Uncle Ray might not look it, but he's an ace attorney after all. I look forward to seeing this, the attorney my father trained in action. Take care. Prosecutor Edgeworth, welcome back. Judge Courtney, I must give my thanks to you as well. To me? You sought to fix the corruption within the PRC from the inside. That must truly have been a lonely battle. No, it was not, for I was never alone. Because the Goddess of Law is always by your side, right? You made me realize that one could fight in such a way. The prosecutor's office, no, the entire legal world is caught up in this contradiction. If that cannot be set right, there is a truth that will never see the light of day. It was only through your help that I was finally able to find this new path. One that fights against the contradictions in the law. I too find that promising. As one in the service of the Goddess of Law. You shall certainly succeed in helping the law grow. Let us meet again in the courtroom. Yes. I must apologize for my shameful acts during the trial two days ago. Next time I shall fulfill my duties as a judge perfectly. Your Honor. I do not intend to speak regarding your ideals. Prosecutor Edwards. However, the greatest judge I know is one overflowing with humanity. Even during a trial, that judge experiences happiness, anger, sadness, and joy. But nevertheless, always hands down the correct verdict in, verdict in the end. It's difficult to say, but sometimes I feel that perfection is not always correct. So, a judge too has the right to behave in such a manner. Thank you very much. Prosecutor Edgeworth. When I pursued and fought against Blaze the Best, the Goddess of Law was not the only one by my side. Aww. Ah, it's John. When I have this cut out with me, I feel a strange sense of courage well up from within. No matter how painful things became, no matter how strong the foe, when I remember that I am not alone, I am able to keep moving forward. Wrongs must be put right, for John's sake as well. John too lost his father in a past crime. That is more important to me than even the words of the Goddess of War. Though I'm sure the Goddess would be angered by those words. <laughs> your bond with your son is the secret to your strength, I imagine. I don't have to be perfect, I just want to grow little by little. Both as a judge and as a mother. That is how I feel. Hm. It seems there is much each of us has yet to learn. Agreed. We are still but children before the world. 
Let us grow in our respective paths until we meet again. I shall look forward to that reunion. May the blessings of the goddess of law be upon you as you follow your new path. Amen. Do I have to go through like dialogue with K and Gumshoe too or not? I am pooped. My god. Though I once lost my position as prosecutor, I have now reclaimed it. So that I may tread a new path as a prosecutor. I shall surely reach the truth awaiting at the end of this path. No matter how difficult the path may be. If any seek to stop me on my path, they shall receive no mercy. No matter who they may be, I will shout just one word. Objection. Credits. Fantastic. Fuck me. Why are the... I don't know why I'm saying that like a complaint. Why are all the Ace Attorney games so good? This, this game was fantastic. Chief. What sort of scope are you aiming for next? Hey. Ain't you a journalist? There ain't nothing more important than information. You might be my apprentice, but you're still my business rival. I ain't gonna tell you everything. That's my mentor, alright. I reckon you're even more prepared than me. I understand. I'll get my information using my own two feet. Yeah, that's the spirit. By the way... Would you mind me asking what sort of scoop you're aiming for next? Oh, really? Huh? Ch chief Ain't no need to be stingy. I'm your mentor, after all. That's just... That's just heinous. Now this game was fantastic. I would probably say this is definitely up there as one of the best Ace Attorney games. I'd probably... I, I don't know if I'd put this higher than Trials and Tribulations. I probably would. And then Trials and Tribulations would be one below it. It seems that the wound on my left arm has yet to heal. The bodyguard who inflicted this wound upon me, his name... Uh, his is a name I will never forget. Now then. Shall I return to being a simple ice cream salesman? Perhaps this time I should try being a crep... Uh, crep salesman instead. For now, I shall live a calm life until my services are required once more. But yeah. I'm very, I'm really, really looking forward to the next games. Because after this, we have Apollo Justice. So that's what will be taken over from this. Then, hang on. I might, wait, might have been knocked out once by a prosecutor named Edgeworth. But I'll keep on trying to escape. I won't let him dampen my fighting spirit. Ain't that right, Rocky? The gong that will sound off my next escape will ring out soon enough. Until then, let's keep working out. Right, now what we're going to say was, I've got Apollo Justice which, as I say, will follow this. Then, Dual Destinies, or Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies, then Spirit of Justice, and then the Great Ace Attorney. Are you inquiring into my studies to be a pe become a pet groomer? I'm working as hard as ever. I spend every day covered in mud. Perhaps this suits my true nature far better than the life of a newspaper salesman. Once I leave the prison, I hope to earn an honest wage as a pet trimmer. And as a pet tamer. Huh? My sentence has been extended. Because I was Warden Roland's accomplice? Oh... That... There goes his wig. Why do you think I've been given a rat's ass about these stupid animals? <laughs> to hell with the pet trimmer's license. Damn it! Oh wow. Well that was so it's uh, true colours. I usually let the credits play out. Because they have, you know, some interesting dialogue and everything. Okay, we have... Regina. Regina was really shocked by the truth about Simon, too. I mean, I trusted him as my subordinate. But there's no use fretting over it. The show must go on. I have to do my best. So that I won't lose to that to the magic or ventriloquist, I think, divisions. Upon the greatest performance ever, one that will blow away this entire case. Yay! Is there not going to be another thing about with Sebastian? No, there was just so much. There was a lot of char character development in this game. Especially Sebastian. Now, he was an annoying brat to begin with, but I actually quite liked him toward the end. It seems I've grown soft in my old age. Right, Anubis? Right, boy? To think the life I saved on a whim 18 years ago would drive me to such lengths. Thanks to that, I am confined to my humble cell once more. 
Well, this time, that child is here as well. Perhaps it won't be such a bar, right boy? Hmm. Quality assurance. Oh yeah! Catherine Hall and Jeff Masters. <laughs> Today's dessert is chocolate cake. That gently melting moment of allure. Oh, wait for you forever, Kate. I shall come here every day just as you and Raymond did for me. Mr. Shields, Prosecutor Edgeworth, I am truly grateful to them. I cannot believe I am able to eat your desserts once more, Monsieur Master. I have been allowed to distribute my treats in both the detention centre and the prison. For the past 18 years, I have brought joy to one and all with my delicious sweets. Aww. Why did Catherine Hall get... locked up? Was she... Did she have a part in it or something? I can't quite remember. She must have had something to do with it. Oh, of course, we have her. Yes, eh? Like everything, boys. Of course, I owe Greggy my thanks, too. After all, I get to stuff myself with Jeffy's delicious desserts once again. <laughs> Oi, next time maybe I'll use one of Jeffy's sweets to create a new drug. The Tuck-In Diet. You'll tuck in your stomach while you tuck into desserts. It'll be delicious and slimming, and also good for your health. Oh my, how many more people are there? There's a shit lot of characters in this game. This was also a really long game. By comparison to well, every other one. Man, I'm glad I got to meet and sketch so many beauties. But Mandy caught a glimpse of my beauty sketch. She had a misunderstanding and clobbered me in the face with my sketchbook. So in exchange for my sketch of beauties, I had one beauty walk out on me. Maybe it's time for me to start getting more serious about my life. Do I take the path of an artist, or do I follow the path of my heart? Oh, and by heart I mean the heart of my new lady. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. He's always got a new girlfriend. Literally, always. Hey, it's bad. Mr. Bad, thanks for all your help today. Hm. I'll testify about the I-7 incident as much as you need me to. Prosecutor Edgeworth seems pretty active too. He chose not to take the same path as Gregory, but rather to live as a prosecutor. Well, I am kind of sad that I won't get to work with him, but I'll continue to watch over him. Hmm. Looks like you've grown up quite a bit yourself. And I'm so happy Mr. Van actually praised me. If you ever need a hand from attorney Raymond Shields, give me a call. Anytime, any place. What's that? Unofficial English fan translation. Oh! Oh, that was cool. My crimes were punished far more le leniently than I expected. Once it was proven that I had been threatened... Ouch! No crime is more heavy or light than any other. I'm sorry. Of course I regret what I did. However, I'm so glad I can still be together with you, Granny. Aww. Huh? You want to hurry back to work? <laughs> That's right. The next corpse is waiting for us, after all. Oh, weird. What a weird couple. Translation. Amazing people. If it weren't for them, we wouldn't have this. I'm glad that my scientific investigation came in handy this time around as well. Good thing I rushed back here all the way from Europe. And now, I have to leave again. That kind of takes the fire out of a girl, as you can imagine. <laughs> but this is also... It's also that I can become an actual forensic scientist. So then I guess it's time to go. Ah, if anything comes up, be sure to call me right away. The second I get the word, I'll dash right over. But yeah, it's just... If it weren't for them, we would not have this. This would be a Japan exclusive. Same with the Great Ace Attorney. We wouldn't have that if we didn't have, you know, super dedicated fans that go out of their way to translate it. The greater the father, the greater the expectations are for their children. Prosecutor the best. 
or prosecute the best, was it? His way of life shall be tested henceforth. Just as mine was. Miles Edgeworth chose to live a different life from his father as a prosecutor. I suppose that too is an answer. Are we going to see the best? Oh, look at that picture. Man, there was a lot of people that worked on this. Fucking hell. Even just for like the fan translation side, a lot more people worked on it than I thought. I could never have imagined the truth that my old man was hiding. Unlike me, who only thought about the Lang Clan. My old man was trying to protect an entire nation. But I swear to you all that I will carry on his will. Even if the president was a fake and the real one was murdered. I swear that I, together with my men, shall revive Zheng Fa. Someday, I will surely show you all Zheng Fa brimming with life. Do we get to see Sebastian? He's got to be... He's a character that's grown the most. I would say. There's Sebastian. Have I ever want to stop calling me the best? I don't like it. It makes me feel like I'm just borrowing Pops' power. I shall study even harder than before and triumph over Pops. I'll become strong enough so that I won't lose even to Mr. Edwards. Now then, let's start by thinking up my new nickname. Of course. Ah, oh, man. I absolutely love this game. I mean, <laughs> I've done five sessions back to back. A lot has happened, but thankfully the film was a roaring success. The gossip articles about the murder made our movie the talk of the country. A monstrous man appears from the mighty Mozilla. This is the true face of the monster who murdered the president of Zinkha. Huh? Isn't that you in the photo, Mr. Powers? Huh? How could something like this happen? Now, now, it's fine, isn't it? It's thanks to those articles that our film is a big hit. Uh, much obliged. Yeah, I really enjoyed all of this. It's just so... I would say different. It was also fairly dark at some points. No. Oh. John, I greatly enjoyed watching your movie. It's no big deal. It's not like I had a major role or anything. What are you saying? You played the key character who connects Mozilla and Gordy. There is no one else beside you who could have played that part. Yeah, I guess. Well, it would be nice if there's a sequel. I really enjoy working as an actor. Mum, before we head home, can we go buy something? I'd like to decorate our home with a lion lily. For Dad. Ah. Then one will not suffice. We'll need two more. One for me, and one for Amy. Ah, That's sweet. For all our supporters, and Capcom for making the game. Definitely. And there it is. God, it's not over. Jesus. High Prosecutor's Office. Room 120, or 1202. What is this song? Well, we're really... We were really busy with all those cases, weren't we, sir? Indeed we were. Why did all these incidents happen in such quick succession? I feel like things are always busy whenever I'm around. Wait, Kay, wouldn't that mean you're a magnet for Grimes? Hey, Gummy, that was rude. I do get the impression that he's not entirely wrong. So then, Kay, do you intend to resume your training to become a great thief? Hmm, I don't know. Huh? Is something on your mind, pal? How should I put it? Until now, I've always been chasing after my father. So that I could become, become a great thief, just like him. Like the previous Yatagarazu, I suppose. But watching you, Mr. Edgeworth, made me think. Maybe instead of chasing after my father, I should find my own path. I mean, you didn't become a defense attorney. A defense attorney either. Chasing after a parent's shadow isn't the only path in life for a child, after all. I'm going to aim to be the to be a hero in my own way. That sounds good. But of course, 
That doesn't mean I'm going to throw away the name of the great thief Yatagarasu. No matter what sort of hero you become, K will always still be K. Thanks, Gummy. And Gummy will always be Gummy. Of course, pal. I plan to keep pushing forward on my path of a detective, after all. Mr. Edgeworth, I look forward to continuing to work with you, sir. Yes. I'll be counting on you, Detective Gumshoe. Detective. You saved me many times during these past cases. You have my gratitude. I suggest you look forward to your next salary assessment. Huh? What? Does that mean what I think it means? What's wrong? I'm saying that your salary ought to be raised. Really, sir? I can't believe it. Isn't that great, Gummy? It's like a dream come true. I can finally say goodbye to my instant noodle lifestyle. However, that doesn't mean you can start slacking off. The real work begins from here on out. You should prepare yourself. Yes, sir. Roger that. I'll devote my body and soul to following after you, Mr. Edgeworth. Man, I fucking love this series. The past Mr. Shields and Judge Courtney taught me is to take a stand against the contradictions in the law and to reach the truth at the end of the road. What am I able to do? That is a question I must continue to dwell upon. Certainly this path will not be easy, however. Prosecutor Edgeworth. When I pursued and fought against Blaze the Best, the Goddess of Law was not the only one by my side. Ah, it's John. When I have this cut out with me, I feel a strange sense of courage well up from within. When I remember that I am not alone, I am able to keep moving forward. Huh. Your bond with your son is the secret to your strength, I imagine. Bonds, huh? I completely forgot. That, that was sudden. What's wrong? I was searching for members for the new Yatagarasu team. Now that you mention it, I do remember you saying something like that, or something to that effect. But in the end, I wasn't even able to find a single person. Can you imagine it? A team combining their powers in order to steal the truth. I wanted to create an in invincible team like that, but... What are you saying, pal? Don't you already have a team? I was just thinking that. Together, the three of us can solve any case that comes our way. Yeah, you're right. A prosecutor, a detective, and a great thief. With the invisible trio, the heroes of heroes that steal, captures, and pursues the truth. Hearing all that kind of makes me feel sorry for the truth. As long as the three of us are together, there's nothing to fear. Isn't that right, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, you are correct. Yeah! Even until his last moments, my father ran along his own path. I, too, shall advance along mine. Accompanied by my somewhat boisterous comrades. As long as they are by my side, I can walk forever without hesitation. I walk forward without hesitation on this new path as a prosecutor. Prosecutors and attorneys. The path I walk is not my father's. However, I am certain that the two paths are not separate. Though we may walk in, the op in opposite directions, our destination is the same. Why, you may ask? Because both paths lead to the one and only truth. Wow, that's a cool picture. Yeah, that is. That's really cool. Man. Yep. J from playing, I think just from the first game, like from the first Ace Attorney game, I instantly fell in love with the series, and as I've been going through them all back to back, I've just been loving them more and more and more. They're so good. I mean, for the most part, they are just a visual novel, but even still, they're so good. And it's fucking over. Well, now I'm sad, but I do have Apollo Justice next, so I have four games remaining. Technically, I have five, but I don't think the fifth one will be fan-translated by the time I get around to it. But we'll see. If it is, that's awesome. If it isn't, 
It's a shame, but I'll get around to it when it is fan translated. But I still have Apollo Justice to do, and then Ace Attorney, Dual Destinies, Ace Attorney, Spirit of Justice, and then The Great Ace Attorney. Or, um... Oh god, what's it called? Isn't it Gakuten Saiban? Something like that? Yeah, and it's something about, um... Is, is it Ryun... Yunosuke? Naruhado? That's the character's name. Either way, that's probably the one I'm most looking forward to, is a great Ace Attorney, mostly because it's... I wouldn't say it's the most... It probably actually is the most, uh... Unnoticed, purely because it's only recently been translated. But I will be playing all of those on Android, because, um... For one, they look better, and also they perform better than a 3DS emulator. By the way, I'm gonna end up rambling if I don't stop, so, uh... That is gonna be the end of... Ace Attorney Investigations 2, Prosecutor's Path. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed this adventure. I've had... I've thoroughly had a really good time with this game. <laughs> As has been evidenced by the fact I've, you know, played through the entire case all of today, I think? Or was it yesterday? Probably yesterday and today. Either way, thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. And until next time, take care.